did you get here okay tonight? Because there is this guy that came up to me on the street the other day and said, I saw you staring at my graffiti work back there. Do you think I could take some photos? Some nude photos of your curves? And I said, look, it's just clothes inside. I'm triangular, but you should never be pointing out other people's faults, I was told, because some people without a sense of humor, I mean, they can't get a joke because they've been mercilessly teased and ridiculed by the bullies in school. You know? <laughs> I know. No, no, no. You don't get it. These people, they can lash out, go on a shooting spree, start stabbing others with a knife, or hitting them with a van and whatnot, just because of the jokes they can't get. Well, uh, life is short. But do you realize, do you realize why they do it? They commit these horrible things because they don't want anyone to ever laugh at them after the act. Hmm. What a way to become some other famous ass. But don't you feel sorry for them? Don't you feel at least s sorry for them? H have you no, no heart? What? Can't you see? I'm trying to eat my cake right now because my ass looks too triangular on the nude photos. And now if you excuse me, I've got to kill someone in a few minutes. I still got some time. Still got some time. Don't worry. Don't worry. I um, had a classmate. A classmate. He was not good at any particular subject. But the drawings, the drawings, out of this world out of this world. He died of an overdose, by the way. His father told me, I wish I could be a better parent. I wish I could be there for him when he was going off. But I just got carried away by my own desires. I'm a sensual man. Oh, he's a photographer. Taking nude photos of young women. So I told him, be careful what you wish for now that you have to babysit your son's baby.
But you know what I remember about my classmate? You know what I remember about him? Throughout the ten long years of school, he always had the same sidekick who looked just like him but was half his size and he would inflict the most painful and cruelest pranks on that sidekick of his. They were good friends, but when the school was over and they had to part, it was like trying to separate the mind from the body, the master from the servant, the bully from the bully. And that's what I think the drugs, the fatal drugs, are trying to do. Trying to separate the rich from the poor, the abusers from the abused, the fathers from the sons, the comedians from the audience. That's what the fatal drugs are trying to do. I really have to go now.